Hey, this is James from Actura Technology, and this video today is going to walk you through the spinning process in Chimp Rewriter. We're going to start with a brand new article and go all the way through to generating anywhere from between five and a thousand copies. Now this video assumes you've already downloaded, installed and activated Chimp Rewriter. If you haven't done that, check out the video called Installing and Registering, available on our videos page. We're also going to assume that you've had an article written or wrote one yourself. On that note, we've got to recommend that in the modern SEO world, having content written for you is the way to go to save you massive amounts of time. Now, we've got a page uh, you can visit at chimprewriter.com slash getcontent where we've got some awesome resources for getting content written for you. Okay, now this is what you're going to see as soon as you're ready to go. The first thing that will pop up is the news tab. This is where you'll find news about new versions, new features, uh, you know, new products, announcements, all that kind of stuff. And it'll show up each time you start the software. And you'll also have a new document ready to go. I'm just going to throw an article in here, which I've literally taken straight from the free PLR pack that you get with your Chimp Rewriter Pro purchase. It's about publishing easings, but this could be about any topic at all. Now, Chimp Rewriter has quite a few different ways you can rewrite your article. How you do it is going to be whatever appeals to you the most, but we're going to cover them all today. The first one is the synonym selector on the left-hand side. There's a few things you'll notice about this, which is the little banana rating, which is a measure of quality, which is generated from thousands of users' preferred synonyms. As you use the software, Chimp Rewriter will learn from the way you write and provide the best synonyms at the top based on this quality and based on part of speech, which is this icon down here. The part of speech engine analyzes the content you have written and determines if the word is a noun, an adjective, phrase, and so on. With this information, the synonym selector can better match the synonyms learned from the users and provide the best ones at the top. The star icon allows you to favorite the synonym for this word, bringing it to the top. And this will apply for every instance of this word in the article. So there it is again at the top. Conversely, you can right click on a synonym and click hate, which indicates to Chimp Rewriter that you never want to see it again. And finally, if you cannot find the synonym that you want in this list, you can add it using this box at the top. You can either click add and press enter, and there it is. Just like when we favorite it, it'll show up for each instance of that word in the article. And the last thing we'll cover on the synonym selector is a quick little keyboard shortcut. Now we can use, hold down the alt key and press left and right to jump between phrases and words that Chimp Rewriter finds. Once we've selected a word, we can press the down arrow to select synonyms with the space bar. Hold Alt again, move along to the right, press down, space bar. And now we can move through the article very quickly like this, adding synonyms as we please. The next spinning method is the right click. This is very similar to the synonym selector, but all we do is right click on a word and we get a list of synonyms. It'll also show the weighting. It won't have part of speech, but it still gives you them in the, the order that you would see over in the synonym selector. There's a few other options here, like you'd normally see on a right click, cut, copy, paste, and you also get to be able to protect phrases. So in this case, let's say we don't want to spin the word easy, we can protect it. This will ensure it is never rewritten using any of the automatic rewriting tools. And just like the synonym selector, we've got keyboard shortcuts for this, where we can use the tab key, down and up arrows, and enter. Now finally we have rapid rewrite in the bottom here, which will display the entire sentence in this matrix down the bottom. And this enables you to very quickly go through and select phrase and word replacements. This is actually one of the fastest ways to rewrite your article. From there, we'll move on to the variation builder, which is both a sentence and a paragraph rewriter, and we'll cover both of these. So we'll start in sentence selection mode, which means when you click somewhere in the article, it will select the current sentence for you to start rewriting. Actually, this paragraph here has only one sentence, so I'll just quickly add another one. 
So once we've selected that down here, I can easily start adding my new sentences down the bottom. Press enter, and it will add them. Note that down here, you can also use the right click rewrite and the synonym selector. Now if we kick the variation builder over into paragraph mode, so we've got a ready to go paragraph here now. Now if I write in a very original second paragraph and add that, it has rewritten this entire paragraph here with the new one. So essentially it's the same thing with the variation builder, it's just one is a sentence replacement and one is a paragraph replacement. Now that we've added some synonyms to this article, down here we've got a uniqueness percentage that indicates how different the new article will be from the old one. You can aim anywhere from 30 to 70% based on how many copies you want to create. Most of the time we aim for 60% if there will be multiple distributions and for a single rewrite 40% is great. The final rewriting method we'll cover in this video is the automatic rewrite. We've already rewritten half of this article, so we'll only operate it on the bottom half. And we go to the Rewrite tab and use Global Synonyms. You'll get this box, which allows you to select the quality of the synonym that you want to replace, and the part of speech match type. And we recommend better and full for this. Grammar check results in a much better rewritten article, and you've got a few other options here as well, which will be in more advanced video. So once we've selected the quality and the part of speech, we just click Add Synonyms. And when it's done, we've automatically added synonyms to all of this. And our spin percentage is up around 63% already. Your other options up here are to do a one-click rewrite, which doesn't add the spin tax we've got here. It'll just replace the entire word. Phrase spin, which replaces phrases with phrases. And favorite synonyms, which is essentially the same thing, except it'll only use synonyms that you've favorited using the synonym selector. I'll just quickly go over a couple of tools up the top here. Note, if you hover over any of these, it'll give you a, a small spiel about what it does. These are the only two we'll cover today. Remove original and remove spin. Now, if you decide that you don't like any of, this, any of the synonyms you've done in this paragraph, you can just remove spin and it'll, it will take it back to its original form. Remove original is to make it as unique as possible. So. Essentially what that will do is remove the original word wherever there is another option. So if we highlight this paragraph and select remove original, that will be as unique as possible from the original version. The final thing we'll cover is a spin and preview. Now this is the most basic way to get your article out of Chimp Rewriter and get it ready for submission. Of course, if you're using software that accepts spin tax, this is ready to go. You can just select it, copy it, and paste it directly into your submitter. So if we click Spin and Preview to get it ready for submission, it will calculate the percentage difference between all these different individual variations. And you can see we've got some that are 40%, some that are 23% different from each other. And let's say we want to submit five copies of this article. We can go to the Show Top 5. And these are the best five copies we've got, and we can just save them all to wherever you want on the desktop. Now, if you have a look, those are my five new articles. Okay, that's all we'll cover today. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's going to be quite a lot of videos coming out in the near future that. We'll go into more advanced topics, for example, the Synonym Selector has a lot of options up here that we didn't cover at all today, so these will all be in their own video. Again, thanks for watching, and see you next time.